unannounced it to either flight crew member or anyone at SAS. The MD-81 came equipped with an automatic thrust restoration, or ATR system, continuously monitoring multiple engine parameters. The system was designed to automatically apply maximum available power if an engine failure is suspected. When the surging began, the ATR recognized it as an engine failure and moved both thrust levers to a setting beyond takeoff power. Hence, when Captain Rasmussen pulled the right thrust lever back, he set the engines to nearly the same power setting at which the surging occurred. As he released his hand from the thrust lever, the ATR once again pushed it forward toward the maximum allowable setting. A few seconds later, the banging noises intensified, shaking the aircraft even harder. The left engine had also begun surging. Busy with trying to take control of the situation, the pilots did not notice the issue. A flight attendant tried to call the flight deck and let the flight crew know what was happening, but she did not use the emergency communication mode and her calls were not noticed. Climbing through 25,500 feet above the ground, the captain turned the autopilot on, hoping to reduce his workload and delegate the control of the aircraft to the automation. However, the state of the aircraft and its behavior fell beyond the limits of the autopilot, and it would not engage. Instead, an audible message filled the noise of the flight deck, informing the pilots that the autopilot had disconnected. Only a few thousand feet in the air, in a violently shaking aircraft, flying through a thick layer of clouds, with oral alerts repeatedly adding to the chaos, the situation was getting more and more stressful. A brief moment later, to the relief of all passengers, the vibrations and the loud banging stopped. But with it came a deafening silence and a terrifying realization at the front of the aircraft. The surging, which was not remedied by the flight crew in time, had disrupted the combustion process enough to completely extinguish it, causing both engines to flame out. A little over one minute after Flight 751 lifted off from Runway 08 in Stockholm, the aircraft lost both of its engines, turning a routine flight to Captain Rasmussen's home country into the greatest challenge of his career. We are trying to make a restart of the engines and make a slow turn to the left. At only 3,000 feet above the ground and without engine power, the crew of SAS Flight 